What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out on the boat. It's super early. It's not even 7 a.m. yet, but the sun is up and shining, and we are going to be doing some magnet fishing today. Now, today we're going to be magnet fishing at a spot that we just found recently. I've only hit this area one other time, and boy, did we find some cool stuff. Now, if you take a look behind me, there's a bunch of trees, and it basically goes straight up a hill here. And right at the top of the hill, there are tons of super old houses. So I'm not 100% sure, but maybe something like 100 years ago, these trees might have not even been here, which could explain why we're finding some pretty cool stuff in here. All right, you guys, we're not going to waste any time. Let's get right down to it. Let's start dipping our magnet around and let's see what we can find here today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you want to pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, today I got my large 360 degree magnet with me. We're going to start off tossing the magnet right here, which is where we actually finished off in our last video in this area. We're going to work our way down the shoreline and we're going to see what we can find here today. I think I'm already landing on something. This is my second throw here. Hold on. Oh, that like... Oh yeah, here we go. I thought we had something, just a little bit of weight, and then it really slapped on. Oh yeah, what do we got here? Heck yeah. Whoa. No. You guys, what is this? Definitely like some gears or something. They almost look like wheels. Is that like a set of wheels for who knows what? They definitely have like gears or something. You know what this kind of reminds me of is those old push mower wheels that we found before. Well, check that one out, you guys. Literally first find of the day. Actually, hold on. I see this big old uh, tree floating down the river. We're gonna stop what we're doing. And I think I'm actually gonna try and push this tree out of the river here so nobody Nobody can run into it because that would not be fun. Look at, there's literally a cigarette butt sitting on this tree. What the heck is going on with this earth? Oh, buddy, that's a big heavy one too. If you're going down this river, you don't want to smack that thing. I have no doubt we are going to fill up this cart today. And it's probably going to be with some pretty cool stuff. Oh, ay, 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 I did not like the sound of that. That was like metal on rock right there, buddy. That's how we crack our magnet. Ooh, something. Oh, I got something. I have something. Hold on. Hold on. Yep, what do we got here? That's got some, some weight. Ooh, oh, oh, hold on. Big old knot of something. What is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there's something else that just fell off and I heard it like jingle. I don't know if I, I don't know if you heard that on the camera. Something jingled like it was some chain or something, I think. I don't know. But first of all, what is this here? Oh, that's a big old hinge. Holy cow, that's a big old hinge. Like, holy smokes, you guys. That's got to be off a dungeon door for sure. And if you look, there is like a big old pile of old looking bricks and stuff laying on the shore here. So like I was saying, maybe back in the day, these trees weren't even here. Maybe there was a shed here or an old little building. Who knows what was going on? We caught us the big old hinge rooney Here we go. Got me a little something right out in front of this big old tree. Look at that sucker. Not much left of it though. It's an old one. What do we got here? What do we got here? Something. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Did it fall off? No, I have it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how it didn't. I got it. Here we go. What the heck is this? That sucker started to slip right off. Uh, pff, that smells, whoa. That smells like you just stuck your head in a can of gasoline. Wow, that is strong. Oh, look, it's got a bunch of those eggs on there. I don't. I still don't know if those are fish eggs or frog eggs or what the heck those are. Gobies? I don't know. Looks like just a piece of scrap metal with the hole in it, but boy, that thing stinks like oil.
Oh, oh my gosh, we must have just hooked something. Yeah, that's heavy. Oh, hold on. Ooh, what is this? Look at this, you guys. Some kind of disc looking piece. Ah, what in the world? Look at that one again. Tons of them clams on top of that thing. That is a pretty thick, solid steel plate of something here. It's like flat and smooth on the top here, and there's like a little notch cutout. This thing is solid steel. I don't know what to think of this thing, you guys. Some kind of circle plate off of something. Nice and slow. That's how we do it. I got something. Yep. Pretty heavy. What is that though? Um, I was gonna say that looks a little wobbly and dangly. What the heck is that? It's like stretchy. It looks like some kind of, I, I was thinking like a toe strap at first, but now it almost looks like the banding off of like somebody's pants. The old underpants. Definitely not magnetic, but it looks like it was pinched uh, up in all of this stuff. What do we got here? Oh, this here looks like some kind of bike hub. The old wheel hub, you can see like the sprocket piece on there. That's the piece with the teeth on it that would go in the chain and turn the bike tire. Huh, we cost a little bit of bike evidence. Oh, there is a little bit of something on there. I didn't even feel that. What the heck is that? First of all, a little bit of a bunch of debris again, just about every throw with the debris. But what the heck do we got here? Some kind of little, oh, look at that. Whatever this is, there's like a teeny tiny wire hanging off the bottom. See that? What do you guys think that is? This almost looks like some kind of knob. What the heck do you think that is? That's a funky looking piece. Who knows what that thing came off of. Definitely electrical though, no doubt. Reaver, reaver. That stopped me. Is that gonna come up? Oh, that's coming up. That's really heavy. Yeah, that's really heavy. What's this? Oh, what we got here? I don't know what that, oh, hold on. Oh, I see some writing. Whatever this is. Oh, it's attached to it. Okay, hold on. There's some writing on this piece. Check this thing out. I don't know what this is. Looks like just some kind of metal chunk of, whoa, okay. Now I'm looking up in there. I don't know what to think of that. What the heck is that? Oh, look at it, it's like gold too. What does that say? Tr tra transform something? Oh yeah, you guys, look at it. I gave it a little, a little dip there in the water. It says transform or something on there. Something about volts and capacity. Holy cow, you guys. What the heck do you think that is? Definitely sounds electrical to me, man. And if you remember the little knob piece with the wire hanging off, maybe that has something to do with this. Huh, really weird. Oh, got a little something. Again, pretty heavy. Oh, I see some green. What's going on here? I see wires though, I think. Yeah, do I want to touch that? Oh, gosh dang it. I don't know what just fell back in the water there. But uh, what do we got here for the green pipe? Oh no, you know what I think this is? Yeah, because it's kind of bendy here. This looks like part of an old hose. The old gardening hose. Well, that must have been pinched because that's not magnetic and we definitely had something big fall off. Mm, 
That's something there, I think. Unless we're just hooked up on a, maybe a log. No, we got something here, you guys. Yeah, heck yeah, what do we got? Oh, looks like maybe a couple things. Yeah, first of all, let's check out the green color I see here. Look at that, that's definitely the handle off of something. And I would say maybe a drawer or something, but the way that it's green makes it look like maybe a teapot or something. We could handle something. Then we had this big old thing hanging off of there. What the heck do you think that looks like? It almost looks like the old shower handlebar or something, but it's got like some hooks on the end here. I don't know what to think of this one. But now, now that I'm smelling it, this thing smells like oil, just like that other piece. I'm starting to feel like we might end up pulling up some kind of machinery or something here, something that's got oil or gas in it. Something's moving. Moving and grooving. What do we got here? Oh yeah, ooh. What is this? Oh, that's definitely some kind of rim for sure, you guys, no doubt. What do you think this thing came off of? Sure looks like a rim to me, but I don't see any spokes on there. You can kind of see where the holes are though, where the spokes would go. Still pretty cool. Who knows what the heck that one came off of. Almost sent it right back. Oh, what do we got going on here? I keep thinking it's just a bunch of debris because I'm serious, that's every single throw with this debris. I'm not even showing you nine out of 10 throws here, but look at this one. Some kind of something with the loopies on. Ow, you. Whatever it is, that thing is falling right apart. Man, there's some old stuff in here. I wanna get closer to that dock, but this tree in the water here is like stopping me. And I also don't want to get hung up in the tree either because that is the quickest way to snag and lose a magnet just like I'm about to do right now. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh, what was that though? I think I just grabbed something. <laughs> Busted ourselves loose from the tree and then we grabbed something. Oh, what is this? Whoa, aha! Is this... Uh, like a barrel lid. I am pretty sure that's exactly what this is, you guys. Aha! Uh -huh. Found that sucker right next to the tree. And if you can see right up under the trees here, that's where the dock is. And I was gonna say, this doesn't look quite as big as a 55 gallon drum lid, but that's definitely some kind of lid. Well, check this out, you guys. I had to stare at that one for a second. Looks like a couple things going on here. First of all, we had this little thing I could see on the side, almost looks like a giant Q-tip. I don't know what the heck that is, but the only other thing that kind of looked like something on there was this thing, and I don't know what that could be. Looks like maybe some kind of little something, like a wheel went in there. I don't know, you guys. But on the tip here, you can see this piece has some threads, so I don't know what the heck that thing is. Ah, now check this out. Not only was there that other dock that we were just by on the other side of the trees here, but it looks like there's a second one. Oh, and look it over here, you guys. Whoa. Okay, this has got to be a tire graveyard. Almost looks like a like a dump. Look at one, two, three, four, five. I can see at least, it's gotta be at least 10 tires sticking out of the water. And who knows what else? I see a bunch of other stuff. Holy cow, man. There's gotta be all kinds of stuff in the water here. Could you imagine back in the day, this all being cleared out with no trees? I just can't even picture it. Look at, I can see rings of tires under there. There's gotta be about 50 tires in here. Holy cow. This big old tree here is like in my way. And I have a feeling 
if that wasn't there there's probably all kinds of stuff underneath it Here we go. A little something here. Check this out, you guys. What do you think this is? Is that part of it? Um, no, that's definitely not part of it. I don't know what the heck that is. A little chunk of something. But check this thing out, you guys. First, I thought it was a handle off of something, but uh, the more you look at it, it's definitely not a handle. I don't know what to think of that. Some kind of bracket, like maybe you could put a pin through there who the heck knows oh man that sun's sticking out that feels so nice let her shine baby pretty cool man oh now that's a tree shot oh <gasps> no no way Look at what's hanging off the bottom of there, you guys. I caught an entire saw. And then what the heck is this? Looks like just a scrap pipe or something. Right up under the tree shot there, which is right off the end of this dock. Heck yeah, you guys. That's so cool. It's still got the handle on there and everything. If you go slow enough, you could almost probably cut you a log. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Definitely some kind of knob off of something. Hey, is that a stove knob? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure, man. You push that in and turn that to your temperature that you want. Well, holy smokes, what, you got a whole stove over here in the, in the entire graveyard? Who knows what? Something nice I just plucked out of the mud here. Yeah, that's kind of heavy. What do we got here? Some kind of canister or something? Is that hollow? Heck yeah. What is that? Just some kind of tubing? Uh, yeah, looks like just the old pipe piece with some kind of, what is that? A bolt hanging off of there? I don't know. Ha, huh, we cost the old pipe blaster. Oh, something silver sticking off of the side. What is that? Huh? We caught a lock. What the heck? That's pretty weird and like out of the ordinary for all the old stuff and rusty stuff we're finding in here. Look at it, and it still twists and turns too. Pretty cool, you guys. We caught us a lock. Ooh. Look at this here, you guys. Again, another tree shot. Look at that. It looks like a pitchfork or like a rake head, maybe. Heck yeah, we're just missing the handle. That's a teeny tiny head, actually, unless it snapped off or something. That one is not very big at all. That sucker's heavy. What is that? Oh, no. Wow, look at that. You guys, holy cow. I've never seen one like this. If you don't know what this is, this is an old school sad iron. We find these things all over the place, you guys, and I've never seen one that really looks like this. This is pretty funky looking, got a little tab on the back there not sure what that's for but you can see the spot where the handle would have been back in the day this is what they used to iron their clothes i love finding these things you guys they're so cool the old football looking sad iron
Oh, look at that, you guys. Just a bunch of debris and scrap pieces on there, but look at this. I'm pretty sure this is the handle to what I think is a knife. <laughs> yeah, you can see like each wooden piece here and then like the little metal slab down the middle there. Looks like the whole blade is snapped right off. We got us the old bladeless knife. <laughs> Oh, what is that? I see a little white, what is that, a handle? Aha, uh -huh, yup, look at you guys, I caught a fork. Well, holy cow, check that one out. This looks way newer than the handle of what I thought was just a knife that we caught. Stainless china, that's all it says. We caught us part of a knife, now we caught us the fork. All we need is a spoon. We can have us a river dinner. Uh, something here. What is this? Is that another, some kind of knob or something? I don't know. The more I look at it, it kind of looks like some kind of wheel. Like a tiny, maybe like a drawer wheel or something. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Something just like popped loose. I was getting ready to just like crank on it and then it like came loose. Whoa, what is that? Check this one out, you guys. What the heck is that? Is that two halves? Yeah, there's a hole on each end. So I'm assuming the inside of this thing is supposed to be hollow. Is that supposed to open up? I don't know. There is some crazy stuff in here. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be inside of the tree in about three seconds. Get out of here. You know how many spiders are probably on that tree? Get away from me, buddy. Go. Got another little something there. Oh, no, you, no, nope, you're kidding. You guys, I've only ever found one of these before. At first I thought this was just a pair of pliers. Look at the tip here, you see these little what you call it? This is an old school hair trimmer or a beard trimmer, whatever you wanna call it. This is the handle you would grab here and you would basically pinch this together and that would make the snippers go back and forth and that's how you'd cut your hair. Dude, you have to be kidding me. That is way too cool. You guys, I think the year on something like like this, I mean, we're talking, it's gotta be like a hundred years. The old manual hair trimmer. Unbelievable. Could you imagine if I could get this restored to the point where I could like trim my beard with it? What a find, you guys. Oh my goodness, that is unbelievably cool. The old morning routine. You iron your clothes and you trim your hair. And then you use your fork to eat your breakfast. And then you head out in the backyard and cut you some wood. If you would like to see me attempt to restore this thing, along with a bunch of other cool stuff, make sure to go check out my restoration channel, The Fisher Restorations. Unreal, you guys, what a find. And again, that was right in the tree there. I'm telling you, this tree is blocking our way. Oh my goodness, look at you guys. Again, bunch of debris on there, but look at this one. This is definitely a saw blade. And is that the tip to this one? Dude, I think it actually is. Stop it. No, it literally is. You guys, we found the tip and completed this saw. Holy smokes. Oh, now hold on. I'm looking at this thinking it's just a piece of scrap, which it pretty much is. But if you look really close, do you see that purple on there? There's definitely some color on that sucker. What is that, like the old plant or pot holder? Who knows? Oh, look at that thing. 
What is that? You know what? Look at this. Look at the sides here. You can see the little grooves on there. This looks like uh, a gas cap or something, but I've never seen one with a bolt on there like that. Huh, that's pretty weird. Something with the threads on there that's definitely got grooves on there like it's supposed to turn. The old something something knob. Ooh, we got here. Oh, oh, look at, yes. You guys check that out. That's a pocket knife for sure. I could tell right away as soon as I seen the little grippy groove handle on there. Super cool, man. You can see part of the blade still half sticking out of there. And we also had this thing on here too. And this kind of just looks like the old bundle of wires or something. Who knows what that came off of. Oh, that was way up in there. Oh, look at this here. Check that one out. You guys, we caught us a little file. That's definitely what that is. You can see the tip still on there and everything. Holy cow, you guys, there is so much different stuff in here. It's like absolutely insane. All right in the same area, really. We have not gone far today. Something here is coming out of the mud. Yeah, nice and slow, nice and easy here. What is this? Looks like another cable type wire piece running through this one. And I'm guessing this is just some kind of bracket piece for like a cable clamp, because you can see the cable running right through it. Well, who knows what the heck that thing was part of. Not much left of it. I think I just pulled something out of the mud. Look at all those bubbles, holy cow. Yeah, I think there's, yeah, there's something here we grabbed. Oh, stay on there. Yes, what is that? Whoa, what the heck do we got here, you guys? Check this out, oh, there's some writing on there. There's some writing. What the heck do you guys think this thing is? We definitely gotta clean that off a little bit. See if we can read it. Check it out, you guys. I just tried to wash this off a little bit and I still cannot read what that says. I think it says like patent or something and then a bunch of numbers. The only thing I can read is this one right here. I think it says no eight, like number eight. I don't know what to think of that thing, you guys. Pretty cool though. Ooh, something on there. Oh, look at that. It's a big old pot or something. We're missing the whole bottom or the top. One of two looks like. I don't know what this is actually. Kind of looks like a pot. Yeah, that's definitely a pot. Look at that. Holy cow. You can see like the, the paint design under there still. And check that out. You can actually see where the handle was supposed to go right here. Holy cow. How old do you think that one is? All the clams in there. Oh, look what else is on there. A little bit of white on there too. We got us a spark plug. What do you think that one came off of? Probably a boat or something. Who knows? Mm -hmm. bzz, bzz. Oh, almost sent a sucker back in the river. All right, you guys, we are starting to run out of time here. So that is going to wrap our video up here for today. Yet again, you guys, we filled the cart just about to the top, but tons of stuff and a lot of cool stuff. You guys, I can't believe we found that manual hair trimmer. I'm going to go ahead and get off the river. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.